All right, what's up, guys? Today, me, Charlie, and our guest star, Gavin, are reviewing a new EP from a band called Lovejoy um, called Wake Up and It's Over. All right, so our format here, if you don't already know, is we go, th we, we will play a song, and then we'll stop it. We'll review the song individually out of five, and then at the end of the EP, um, we will rate the EP as a whole out of 10. So, I guess we'll just jump right into it. Do you have any, um... Three out of 10, because Logan's here. What? Yep, so track number one, Portrait of a Blank Slate. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Give, give us a countdown! Alright, three, two, one, go. Again. Yeah, you did for a second. Oh, whatever. I've, I've heard this song. Thing he says I could take a plastic camera. We could make such a pretty picture. Oh, so happy. Oh, oh, so happy. I'm pretty cool once you get to know me. I feel at some point I broke my mind. I'm always searching the silent side. I do I'll make it look so easy. You open your eyes up so quickly. It scares me. She's an artist. Paints across my chest. So once you get to know me, I'm just the same. I've got a boy. The bass line's really good. He's got such a good bass line. Mm -hmm. And so the drums are absolutely Well, what are your guys' thoughts on this song? Poggers. I would have to agree. What do you think of that? I, I think that this is probably one of Lovejoy's best songs. Um, the, the bass line, like you said, absolutely. Charlie, what are you playing? <laughs> That's not me! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you! What are you saying? So, like you were saying, um, yeah, it's. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> they got such a good bass line to it. Um. <laughs> right, now the video is copyrighted. No. <laughs> No, it's not. That's a Chinese propaganda song, but it's a disco <laughs> remix. <laughs> it's a disco remix of a Chinese propaganda song. <laughs> so anyway, um, we started with Portrait of a Blank Slate, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> Portrait of a... I, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Portrait of a Blank Slate. Uh, has one of the absolute best bass lines that I've heard in any song. It is. I think this is probably one of Lovejoy's best. Um, I, I agree with that. It, it did... Some of it I wasn't, like, too huge of a fan of, because I didn't like how sort of, I guess, messy the mixing was. Because um, the guitar was a bit too heavy, clipped the audio a little bit too much. Um, but other than that, absolutely great. Um, Wilbur's vocals in this was... I'd say perfect. 
absolutely great song. I give I give it like a four point five out of ten. Four point five out of ten. Yeah. Or out of, uh, out, of out of five. five out of five. I forgot. Yeah, you wanted the song ratings to be out of five. All right. What do you What do you think, Charlie? Logan, what'd you think? Logan, what'd you think? Uh, I am gonna give it about a uh, decent four. Okay. Um, Got a fan I think here. I think I I I pretty much agree with with what Gavin said here. It's the the bass line's really good, but yeah, the mixing, especially when it would start to like include like a whole bunch of other shit, it, it just seemed a little bit messy, and I feel like it could have been done a bit better. But yeah, the vocals and the bass line were very good. So yeah, there, is, there is one other thing I would like to add actually. Um, What's I've that? noticed with this song and "Call Me What You Like," which has been out for a few months now, uh, I I believe. Um, it doesn't sound like there's nearly as much like brass and trumpet as there used to be, which I kind of am a bit upset about because that was such yeah. a good part of their earlier song. I think it's just a different sound. It is, yeah. It's a completely different sound. Their original was more like indie rock, um, you know, uh, yeah. Are You All Right? Yeah, it's just a different sound that doesn't exactly yeah. pertain to having uh, some of the brass sounds that they used yeah. to have in their more sort of upbeat sounds. It was yeah. the same in the uh, in uh, the fall from Pebble Brain. It was sort of yeah. it was a more like downbeat sort that, of yeah. That one was more sort vibe. of I guess nihilistic, which I still think is stupid because you know I, no, I it wasn't. It was a political before, song. Nihilism is dumb, huh? It was a political song, bro. What are you it talking was a political about? Political song, but it seemed kind of like oh no, uh, it seemed kind of like everything is fucked. We're all dead, like that kind of thing. Along with that's not nihilistic. That's point. just cynicism, which is still stupid. Nihilism and cynicism are both stupid. All right, what are your thoughts, Charlie? What are your thoughts on this song? Um, I think I thought it was fine. I like the drum progression on it a lot. I thought that was really clean. Uh, my only thing was I'm not. I don't think it's really that memorable. And that's my take on it. I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of. In the background, I feel most of the time. This whole song just feels like it's in the background for me. Um, I'm giving it a three out of five, honestly. <laughs> That's just my take on it. All right? That's fair. Yep. All right. Now, track number two. Call me what you like. All right. Do you guys, do you guys have right. that pulled up? Give us a countdown. Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I, again, drums and bass, absolutely great for this song. I feel like with this one, the sort of messiness of it and the slight audio clipping with the guitar, they fit better, like a lot better than they do for Portrait of a Blank Slate. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like this song, uh, I, it's meant to be, it, it sounds like it's meant to be a little bit more chaotic and, uh, yeah. What, what would be, what would be the good, what would be a good word for it? Um, messy. Yeah, but we already used Messi. <laughs> Ronaldo. We're not writing a paper. <laughs> All right, so what what rating would you what would you rate this song, Mister Lovejoy expert? I don't know. I I'd say it's 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 weird to give it a higher rating than Portrait of a Blank Slate, even though I like it more. But I'd say this one is probably a five out of five for me. Damn. Pretty bold. That's good. I, I thought I thought this one was really good. I I enjoyed this one a lot. All right. So me personally, I'm gonna have to agree with what you kind of said about it. With some of the bass line fitting more, and I noticed the drums also with it progressing towards the hook were uh, very very good. Um, I would have to give this a strong four. As opposed to the decent four that I gave the other one. Um, as opposed to the limp four. <laughs> but, uh. The flaccid four. <laughs> <laughs> Man, because it, it just. <laughs> Are you giving it a solid four or a flaccid one? <laughs> Rock hard four. <laughs> yeah, it. it yeah, the, the baseline. It, it was kind of similar, but it, it seems to have been done better. Um, and the, the mixing on this was messy, but it felt like it fit more. It felt more, it felt more natural for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mixing was still horrible, but it was still really good. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it, was it was messy, it was messy in a good way, horrible, though. It was messy. More, of like, more chaotic. That's the only yeah. criticism I've heard so far. It was messy in a good way. Yeah, so I would it say was, yeah. I would say a nice rock hard four for this one. Like, what I mean, you with, the, oh. with the sort of theme of the song being like a messy relationship, it makes sense that the mixing would be messy. Yeah. I also I do I I know that some people are a bit iffy on the bridge part of it, but I really liked the bridge that they had. I I I, I thought that was pretty cool, and it's not often that you get a song where the bass is a bit more catchy than the actual chorus, but I think this is one of those songs. Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah, so what are you thinking, Charlie? Uh, I thought the bass was amazing. I thought it was really, really, really solid. I thought it was really good. Uh, the vocals, though, I, I didn't like them. <laughs> I, I, thought he, I, thought, I didn't think it really made any sense because he was like, I fucking hate my life. Wait, I, got the, I had the lyrics pulled up. It was like one part where he was just like, I'm a total fucking dumbass. Uh, I'm on constant paranoia. It's just no. It's it's not it's not about like uh, it's not about like self hate or anything like that. It's uh, like a messy manipulative relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. All right, all right. I just, I just felt like it was weird. And that one part of the song that yeah. just breaks in there, me him just like talking, I thought was weird. But I thought the bass was solid. I'm sticking with my score. I'm gonna keep with a uh, a rock hard. <laughs> three right <laughs> that's gonna start being no our classic. terminology now here. <laughs> it's gonna just be a regular thing it's on gonna show. it's gonna carry over all right Logan, all right now it's time it. for track number three consequences are right, you guys ready yeah. i i did actually hear this one before the ep release because oh, i i heard a live version because mm. they they were playing it in concert like before they uh before they released it as a studio version oh that's cool yeah, it's pretty sick. Right. Like they played it at that music festival that they did. All right, you give All us right. a countdown. All right, three, two, one, go. This is much more upbeat than the previous two. Well, at, at least more upbeat sounding, which is, I guess, sort of more love joy.
consequences of my actions now what's this the consequences of my actions now what's this the consequences of my actions now what's this the consequences of my actions to get bored, I decorate my mind, the same beige as the walls, I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours, drink I've had too much to think, they haven't put headphones on, just tell me no. baby, I can hear the echo, is this seat taken, kill yourself, what's this, the consequences okay, I'll, I'll of turn my down actions, the now. I don't have headphones what's here in my car, what's this, the consequences of my actions, All right. It's only a second. All right, so, Gavin, what do you think of that song? I I feel like that was also one of their best. Um, well, eh, maybe not one of their best. I I, I think it was pretty good. Uh, I I definitely like. Um, I don't find it better than like, uh, oh yeah, you're gonna cry or sex sells or one day, but yeah. I I do absolutely love this song. It is great. Um, I also, I don't know why, but the line, uh, I drink, I've had too much to think. I just find funny. I don't know why I do. It's kind of pretty, funny. Pretty, pretty funny. It is kind of funny. It's, it's kind of well, funny. Silly. What would you rate it? I'd say, a, a, I'd say a, um, a throbbing rock hard four out of five. <laughs> 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 So, Logan, what'd you think? I thought it's cool, it's that cool Under Armour shirt. It was nice. <laughs> yeah, rubbing that Under Armour. I didn't think Bye. I was going to have to go outside, cool so I just wore want. whatever shirt I needed to. Uh, Give but, your review, idiot. So, I thought that... Logan, I love was, your microphone. Thank you. It was nice. To, it was nice to have... Uh, I love in, your blank wall. Thank you. It was nice to have a nice uh, upbeat song to uh, mix up uh, a lot of the uh, more uh, sort of like gritty. Yeah, song. gritty yeah. hit the gritty. Oh my god! Gritty. But um, I I don't think it was anything special. I think that the hook was not very catchy, and the song overall was just I don't know. It didn't it didn't hit in the way that I thought it. Uh, could have. Not <laughs> um, I just saw the thing you sent to the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, so I'm gonna give this song a uh, like. Figuring out how to try to describe this. Uh, <laughs> a. <laughs> Look at, give me a review. Give your give your answer. I'm, I'm You're gonna give I'm gonna give this a a uh, half hard three. Half hard? What does that mean? Oh, like like it's at half mast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Such classic. laughs> um, so I, I want to kind of I want I kind of want to add on to one of the things you said where it had a more upbeat sound, even if the lyrics were a little bit darker. I yeah. feel like that. I feel like that kind of makes it more similar to older Lovejoy songs because yeah. 
um, you know, it something did. like Concrete, you know, that had a really upbeat sounding instrumental, but it was literally about wanting to, like, punch someone in a bar. Uh-huh. Which I find hilarious. All right, so yeah, what would you Charlie, rate, what would you rate that? You oh, write, I, already, you I already said I, said, I, 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 said, I said, said uh, uh three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop with the stupid fucking. Stop, the okay, stop sending stuff, you idiots. Is <laughs> <laughs> that Seth MacFarlane? <laughs> it, it, it's if it's Ted, yes, it's Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> All right, um, I don't know. I agree with Logan on this one a lot. I did think the drums were really good on this one. Whatever his name is, Mark something, Mark Rodman, I thought. Yeah. Rodman did did a good job doing the, the drums on it. Um, the do 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 beat was pretty good. I'm still gonna stick a strong three, a hard three, not flaccid like Logan. It's not flaccid, but this one's rock hard. Like 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 a hard three that's doing the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this the staple bit of this video? Let's go to the Warsaw. All right. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Sounds like it came straight off of the, like, keyboard preset. Not anymore, though. She's broken up with him inside her head. She's just waiting for the moment, the precious moment to let him know. Share makeup with a stranger in unfamiliar beds. It's good for me, I'm sure, I'm sure it's good for me. I know anything you ask of me that sure. What for? My fingers pressed until they're sore, it's so you said. Crazy, we used to do this over. You wake up and thank God it's over. Just please just let me go. Brian, what are we thinking with this song? Not gonna lie, this song is kind of like the song of all time. Not really a huge fan of it. Really? It's boring. Yeah, it, it, it was pretty boring. Um, aggressively British at some points. It's um, like almost Britpop-ish, honestly. And it, it was basically the personification of the word cynical. <laughs> yeah. Any comments, Logan? Well, 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 what's your what's your rating first? Honestly, I I give it um, I give it like a rock hard, throbbing, pulsating two out of five. Really? Yeah, I I didn't enjoy it that much. No, this song I feel was nowhere near as good as the other three we listened to. Really? The the, the drums at some points were pretty good, but the rest of it just felt it felt kind of flat, you know? Yeah. Like it, it felt. I, I, I kind of like. I, I kind of like how you said. Was it kind of sounded like it came from some sort of free software or something? Uh, I actually meant like I've it right at the music beginning. Free or... software before, and it even. I, I'd say sounds better than that. Like I, I love Love Joy. They're my favorite band, but that is not. I don't think that's a good song. Yeah. Logan, what would you think? So, what's your what's your take? What's your hot take? Give us your take. Give us your this take, gonna, Logan. This go, this take your answer and give it to us. Take. This is gonna be a little bit controversial considering your guys' apparent uh, ratings, but uh, I'm gonna give this yeah, uh, a flaccid four. And I say that because 
It was good. You you heard you he immediately heard the Kanye West reference within the song. Where? I'm joking. <laughs> if there was, <laughs> you, you, no, he Kanye made up a reference that was in the song. I would definitely have heard it if there was a Kanye reference in there. Something else is I also think that this specific song, um, like. It sounds like how an image of an emo kid crying in his room at 3 a.m. looks. Experience? I definitely think no. that there could be more <laughs> accurate depictions of that image. But, I thought that this was good. It was, the lyrics were cynical, but I feel like, similarly to uh, the, the song before it, Consequences, it was a bit more upbeat sounding, and I honestly really liked it. Um, not as much as the uh, the first two tracks, but I think that it was good, and I think that you guys are hating on it a little bit much. I'm hating but, on it because I, I, I think it's kind of shit. I um I I, I, I was I kind of zoned out during it honestly. Uh, I like the lead guitar. I thought that was I thought that was something. You're right. I thought that was uh, something. But honestly, it's very it'd be similar to contemporaries. I'm guess I'm, I'm guessing there must be contemporaries. So I'm guessing it must be similar to those. Uh, I don't know. Strong one. I give it that. And that's my strong fish. one. That's my oh lowest my rating so my far. God. Yeah. I, mean, I, I got yeah. I gotta say I do agree. It's just I didn't. I don't like it. I mean, after we did the logic thing, that this is the new record. <laughs> Three, go. two, one, go, go. I'm scum, I'm waste, I'm one, yeah. 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 Um, I, I think, I think we'll all have the same opinion on this comment. Um, I really liked the, I really liked that. Did you, did you guys like that too? Yeah, it was funny. I, I no. liked the, what did you say no? I said no. I'm saying no. Die. I'm saying no. You gotta hear me out. Um. Oh. Too cheesy. It's too cheesy. It doesn't work. It's supposed to be hardcore all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I really I liked the guitar in most parts of it, except for when he would say, "Uh, I'm what you want." Then I, I didn't like the guitar on that bit. I I didn't like how for that um, and the last verse, the guitar kind of drowned out Wilbur's voice a bit too much. Um. The last verse I did like, it was pretty good, but 
it did drown his voice out a bit too much. And the build up to that verse, I thought was really good. And the main verses, I also thought were better than the chorus. And the chorus was kind of mid. I, uh, and my overall rating for it, uh, I'd say is mm, like it is a um a very well hung four. Where is or no, that? not four, not four. Um, uh, I was gonna say like a four out of ten. So I guess that would be. No, not not a four out of ten. I'd say like a three. I'd say it's like three. Where is a well hung in relation to it? Rock hard. Like a a big three, big three, big throbbing hey, three. Is that three. is that is you, that? You wouldn't know. You would think it's not. We have a we have a flaccid four. We have a throbbing three. <laughs> What'd you think? Honestly, I think that the guitar was really good. I thought that the vocals were really good. Yeah. I liked the hook. I liked the hook. I, I did um, really like the vocals. The vocals I thought were pretty good. Um, um, I thought um, I thought that the hook was good in in uh, disagreement with you. Um, but then the the part the the breakdown near the end was really good. Where and then it was the guitar and then everything came in. The drums paired really nicely. I liked the ooh, that was cool. I I really liked the. Ooh. Um. My mic doesn't want to pick it up. Honestly, I'm it's thinking too, too I'm thinking a, a rock hard three on this. Um, yeah, that's my two cents. What do you think, Charlie? Oh yeah, mine's three cents. So you know, hard two, rock hard two. Okay. Oh, really? I I just think I I I didn't like the. Oh, it did. It was just, it was just too funny. <laughs> I think. I think it, that um, made it better. That made it so much it better. It, it, it went against the drums, in my opinion. But I, I, I also sort of didn't like the um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking garbage part I'm of the song. I'm scum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm scum. I didn't like I'm that. Scum. that was kind of, That's my name. Oh, no, I, I didn't really like it that much. Yeah. I, I do feel like that line the. I'm scum, I'm waste, I'm what you want, would have been so much better if the, like, if the guitar drowning out Wilbur's voice didn't come in at the last bit of it. I mm. thought it was good. I, it, eh, it was okay. Anyway, now let's move on to the last track. Uh, one it's second. Golden Hour Somewhere. Give me a second. Alright, uh, let me pull this up. Oh my gosh. No okay, no ad. Alright. Alright. We ready? This one, I also, I just did not listen to this one. Oh, you didn't? I, I don't, I do not know what to expect for this song. Alright. We'll see first time reaction. Dun dun. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, go. This sounds like an Are You Alright track. It does, which I really like. Are you all right? I, I love. For being four songs, it's really good. Oh, now I'm getting sort of like vibes of their cover of Knee Deep at ATP. Yeah. Should we listen like, to that too? I'm not in this video. But... Is this what it's worth? To see the hidden foes in this tool tipping out the dirt. I wish that I could kiss the pixels off your lips Describe our naked bodies as a Zoom call partnership That's inappropriate They can't say that They're gonna get arrested Logan, you've, you've never, you've never heard those words before Is this why you Shut it's really, I really like the instrumental so far yeah. Watch doesn't have his name. Oh, how will he know it's him? The sun reflects the light of hilltop window panes. This grass is the wrong shade of green, so we can pay to make it shade. They'll tell you this is no I thought that there was the Among Us noise. I did too. Oh. 
Can't chew to ram the holy scriptures down throats in tennis shoes. Our father, who art thou central mum to rain? Take it from me, baby. It's worse when you can't pay. It's worse when you can't pay. It's worse when you can't pay. They'll oh tell gosh. you this is normal They'll tell you this is love I'm not sure if the stuff I want Is even worth the price it costs Three cars in every garage And six seats between them They'll sell I, I agree with what Logan said. This does sound a bit more like a song from the Are You Alright EP, which honestly was, which that had some of my favorite Lovejoy songs. I um, think that that was their best project. Uh, Are You Alright? Yeah. It was I, short, I, I but I, like, I, feel... I, I don't think any of the songs missed in, in uh, any are, capacity. Are You Alright is an absolute classic EP. I mean, of course, it was their first one. Yeah, how can you not like it? But I feel like their best one was Pebble Brain. Pebble Brain, I feel like, was a little bit repetitive at times. And it was, but I mean, it can't be more repetitive than Scum was. I thought Scum was good. Literally half the lyrics were the same line. Anyway. Logan, you just, you just, you just understand because you're one of those teens. You're a cool <laughs> teen. You're, you're edgy. You, you, you just don't get it. Hell yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, Golden Hour Somewhere, it, it was like mom. another one of those songs where it sounded both upbeat and not upbeat at the same time, but the lyrics definitely were not upbeat ones. Uh, I, I really liked that, that it, it's had a really good sound. Um, I, um, it, it was, it wasn't messy at all, that I appreciated. Oh, yeah. Um, the, um, I... <laughs> The Among Us noise. <laughs> that kept fucking with me. That that just like snapped me out of the vibing. But uh, they knew it, what they were doing with that. that. It, it's like it's one of those songs that you would just vibe to in your room at three a.m. It's one of those songs. Just the emo kid at three in the morning. <laughs> no, 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 no. That that was a, that was war. Was it Warsaw? Yeah, Warsaw. Yeah. Warsaw was the emo Warsaw kid playing in his room at 3 a.m. No, this was like just a song you're just laying there vibing to at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Lovejoy Challenge. It, it's 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 one of those songs that I like to call uh, a 3 a.m. banger. <laughs> Sounds a little bit goofy. What's your rating be though? Honestly, I'd give I'd give this one. Um, oh, let me think of some adjectives. Um, yeah. Let me think of some synonyms. Pulse actually Joe. going on thesaurus.com. Suck. I, mean, I, oh, I already said pulsate. I'd, I'd give it like... I'd give it a thick, pounding, palpitating... <laughs> look at uh, Logan's face. <laughs> rock hard from a stallion four. A four. I, I'd say I'd say that song was a solid four. I liked it. See you now. It, it's not like it's not like it's not the best song, but I definitely liked it, and I'll probably listen to it again. See now, I have to agree with you on pretty much every front there. Uh, I thought that it was a a very uh, a more upbeat song. Um, I think that it's definitely a banger. Um, and the Among Us noise was. Uh, they knew what they were doing 
putting that. <laughs> <in> <laughs> yes, they they did. They, we they we know like, Wilbur has played a lot of Among Us. Oh yeah. We they, just know that. They they put that noise in there, and someone was like, "Hey, this kind of sounds like Among Us." And they're like, "Let's keep it." That would and be Wilbur really was funny. was like, "Let's put another." They, they played like at least three times. It kept fucking with me. I'm but, trying to think of like sort of what vibes. My edgy teen can't can't understand this Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. It gave uh, me. Okay, uh, wait. No, I think I know what it is. It gave me vibes that are sort of like. Um, sort of like Cage the Elephant or The Killers. Kinda, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Um, my rating for that song, I would say, uh, uh, probably a flaccid four. I thought there were definitely very good ideas there. I think that they could have done more with it, though. So, Charlie, what, what were your thoughts on that final song? Crumbling three, that's what I'm gonna say. You know, like a crumble pie that can also be used as shh. But um yeah, Crumble Three. I thought I thought it was that was okay. Um yeah, the Among Us uh, just threw me off guard. You know, we just got rid of my edgy teen vibes. It's like, who is this Among Us? I was watching this back when in the Ballstander is so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought obviously the drums have been always good. The drums have stayed good throughout. Um, and that's carried over into the song. The guitar was, eh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying Crumbling Three, Crumbling Three. Album as a whole. Who wants Would to go you first? Alright. Um Yeah, I I'd, I'd say the thing that I said I, I feel like it's Golden Hour Somewhere kind of summarizes the whole album where it has vibes of Cage the Elephant, the Killers, you know, stuff like that. Um d with uh, consequences, just a little bit of glass animals thrown in there. Um overall, I'd say the album uh the album was either hit or miss for me uh, with the songs. Because um, like I said, I loved Portrait of a Blank Slate, Call Me What You Like, Consequences, and It's Golden Hour Somewhere, but I did not really like Warsaw or Scum. Those songs I thought were kind of mid. So I'd say, you know, six songs, four of them I liked, two of them I didn't. I'd say it would be fair to uh, use that to give it an overall six out of ten. So... I, would, I have to agree with you on a couple things. I think that it was good. I think that it deserves a little bit higher of a rating, though. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I'd, I I'd say seven. You're right. It's because for a solid amount of the songs, I was really kind of jamming. Specifically oh. the first two the first two tracks, and then um, a little bit on Scum, and then a little bit a little bit on the last one I was really enjoying the music there um, so me personally I would say probably about like a seven maybe like a, a strong uh, a rock hard seven right oh wait I didn't you're right I didn't give my I didn't give my rating in a proper way oh my God. I need I I would say that I give it a long girthy um rock hard throbbing seven pretty hot honestly <laughs> <laughs> um charlie your overall rating what's your rating and slash review um so for my back. take is just gonna my take's gonna he's be back off. he's back what the f okay just review review review, uh, yeah, review. My, my take is gonna be a little off i haven't listened to um what's called indie rock in a hot minute i don't i haven't really touched that genre in a long time um but i thought i thought honestly the background everything in the back was fine i like the drums i like the bass the bass guy the drum guy was all good the leading guitar i thought was great the only thing that kept me from loving it was wilbur's vocals I didn't like him. That was just me. I just think he's too British. <laughs> the full album. Good, 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 um, good thing. I, I like, a like good, this like, one. Like a good Radiohead kind of voice. But um, no, he's just like. <laughs> wait, wait. What's the second? What's the second one? What's, the, what's that one song called? Uh, Tell me I'm what you like. I'm just scum. I'm just scum. Oh. No. Oh. Here. I'm giving it a flabby six. All right. Mm, not a good adjective. How about how about um slacking, drooping, droopy? <laughs> slacking no droopy yet. Floppy. Oh my god. 
right, like right. these these are songs that you could do the helicopter to. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a stupid bit. Where'd he Why go? Are we sticking with this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's not. He's not. He's not there. He's gone. That's it. Well, Logan's gone. The channel's <laughs> over. Channel's over. All right. All right. Well, now it's time for the outro. All right, guys. Well, that was that's it for. Be sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. I will mute button, you guys if you don't let me do the outside. I the oh, my section. MySpace account. I have it linked in the description below. Go Please go get go go get on my Facebook wall. <laughs> go go follow our Facebook. <laughs> follow our Twitter our Twitter account. We have AI generated Be sure to like us on Nine Gag. <laughs> Follow us on MySpace. Subscribe to us on 4chan. 4chan. <laughs> like our posts on iFunny. <laughs> I've got it. You follow us on Tumblr. That's it. That's iFunny. it. Just end the video here.